What is up guys, it is Game Fanatic Cook, and as you all know, I love Fear and Hunger so much, so you might be questioning why I titled this video, Is Fear and Hunger Fun? You might be like, well, how do you not think it's fun? It's like half the videos on your channel are Fear and Hunger, and you always talk about how it's a great game and how interesting it is, how good the lore is, and all that stuff, so how would you not think Fear and Hunger is fun, or how would you even question if Fear and Hunger is fun? And, you know what? That's why I made this video, to describe why I love Fear and Hunger, but I wouldn't describe the Fear and Hunger experience as fun. I don't know if I would describe it as enjoyable to a certain extent. Um, it's very complicated what I want to say here. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of the right words to say it, because Fear and Hunger is an amazing game, and the world building and the lore are definitely the best parts. The art is amazing, all the enemies look great, the backstories, just everything in the game looks so cool and the harshness and unforgiveness, <laughs> unforgiveness of the, <laughs> of, the uh, of the area is just amazing. It's just all fits so well. And the obscurity and randomness of some of these enemies, but how they all end up fitting together somehow, it just makes it an amazing game that is so interesting you want to deep dive into it. But do you have do you really have fun while playing the game? I mean I wouldn't say that you do. Um, I play the game and I play it because it's interesting to me and to a certain extent I enjoy it because of my interest in it and because I like the lore so much I like learning more but to find the game fun is an interesting question because I don't think I do find it fun because it's depressing. <laughs> it, it, you, you have a terrible life in the game you know. Um, everything's a threat. There's a little girl in a cage with a bunch of big slong monsters and that sets up sus things um there's sexual assault there's uh, murder there's everything in the game everything terrible in the game is there and it's like not even like normal bad things it's like the ultra bad version of all these bad things like torture to death uh, i don't even want to talk about it because i'm trying to get this video monetized i can't even go into i can't even use words to describe the terrible things that happen in this game without facing severe demonetization issues. So I, I can't even say how terrible the game is, how you constantly feel anxiety, how you're constantly worried, how you're constantly micromanaging because you feel like at any turn you could be like your death because you encounter a certain enemy that you just weren't prepared for. You know, you get poisoned, you get infected. I mean, there's so many different things that make this game a terrible player experience. But that terrible player experience is what makes the game great because it fits in with the lore, it fits in with the harshness, harshness of the area, it fits in with the art style, and if it was an easy game or fun game or a goofy game, it just wouldn't work. So is the game fun? I don't I, I don't think it is. I don't think I have fun playing Fear and Hunger, but playing the game leaves me with a an itch to understand it better, to know more lore, to keep playing and keep delving deeper into it and understanding the world better because the world's just so interesting. It's like when I'm reading a book, like uh, let's just say Harry Potter, for example. Everyone's read Harry Potter. When I'm reading Harry Potter, it's interesting. I enjoy it, but I also wouldn't say I'm having fun reading. You know what I'm saying? And this is kind of like the experience you have with Fear and Hunger to a certain extent. It's not fun, but it's interesting. Or a better example than Harry Potter. That was a terrible example. Better example is learning about wars, right? Learning about like World War II. I think it's so interesting. I love learning about history. And I love learning about the terrible things that happen to people. But I don't have fun doing it. I feel sick. I feel depressed. I feel sad for the horrors that have committed against certain people and acts in history, right? But I'm still interested in it. I still enjoy learning about it. And that's kind of the same feeling I have with fear and hunger. And it's such a complex feeling. It's super hard to explain. So I know I'm, I'm stumbling over my words a lot. I can't, I'm not explaining it perfectly. But I think that's the best example you can have. You know? You're learning and, well, in fear and hunger, you're participating and playing in a sequence of terrible, awful events where people are tortured, murdered, assaulted. But you can't put it down. You know? Because it is so well crafted. Not the actual game itself, there's crashes and bugs. But I mean, the, the story, the world, it just piques your interest so well. The art, I mean, I'm just going back into the same points. It's just so hard. I, you see where I'm going with this, right guys? So I think it's hard pressed 
for anyone to play the game and be like, I'm having a fun time. Because I don't think I had a fun time a single moment I played the game. I really don't think I did. It's just, you can't stop playing. And, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Because maybe you guys did have a fun time. I'm sure uh, there is some freaks. <laughs> I'm not going to say freaks. But there is some interesting folks out there that particularly had fun during the uh, bunny uh, group exercise session. Or perhaps during the uh, Dragon Ball Z fusion dance in the uh, marriage ritual. I'm sure there's some people that had some enjoyment from that. And uh, apparently, according to the memes that I see about this game. Some people also enjoyed the uh, Kahara prison guard dance together. And that has me, some of you are sus out there, okay? Some Fury and Hunger fans are pretty sus. We're getting pretty off topic here though. What I'm saying is like, unless you're a, a I can't, mash, mash, ma, mash assist, ma, You guys know what I'm talking about here. Um, I believe it's M-A, is it S-C-H-O-S-I-S-T? Not sure if I spelled it right, mass of shits. Mass of shits. <laughs> massive shit <laughs> you guys know exactly what i'm saying here but unless you have that uh i guess kink i would describe it as um you're not really getting a whole lot of enjoyment out of fear, out of fear and hunger i really just said massive <laughs> all right guys we're drawing this video out to eight minutes by me trying to pronounce ma <laughs> massive shits <laughs> massive shits this is this is staying in bro this is staying in the video ma 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 mash assist Mash assist. Mash assist. Someone in the comments drop me a pronunciation guide. You guys always do when I'm struggling with a word. Um, I know how the word's supposed to sound. I just, I sometimes have issues. I have a list that I, I thought I fixed as a child. But every once in a while, some of these words with a lot of S's in it, they, they really they really knock me down, right? They really beat the shit out of me. Um, so it's not always perfect. Anyway, guys, that's all I really have for this video. As you can probably hear in the background, I'm cooking some cornbread for my family, making us a little nice little dinner. Uh, bean soup. Bean soup is delicious. Got some cornbreads on in the oven. And I'm right here next to my oven because I got to watch it. You know what I'm saying? So that that, <laughs> that sound is actually from my cornbread oven. You know what would be good in the hit game Fear and Hunger? Cornbread. Anyway, guys, we got off track here. The first five minutes of this video was relevant. The, the rest have been me uh, being an asshole. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please, please let me know of, let me know what you thought of what I said in the video in the comments below. I love debating. I love responding to comments. I love just talking to people. As you guys can see, I pretty much respond to almost every comment ever on my channel at least once. And as long as you're respectful, I always stay respectful back. But you know, I do get a little bit sassy sometimes if I feel a little a little meanness coming my way. But hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe it would mean a ton help support me and my channel uh you know i, I want to i want to make a living off this someday so that'd be pretty cool thank you guys sorry the e-bag there uh but yeah like subscribe and support and stay blessed stay happy be healthy be safe and okay cool we padded out long enough bye